And yesterday he was dead keen. And we're not sure really keen today. So, here's the sheep. Hey, there's the sheep. Oh, yeah. I can hang out with the sheep. He looks a little bit like Joni. Except he goes, oh. Oh, I see that and I go, oh, that's pretty nice. You know, I want a dog. We want dogs that are thoughtful. He goes, oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Good boy. He says, okay, I got him against the fence. I can do this now. Oh, you get back, you get back. All of those little moves is completely instinctual. He has no training. He says, I've got you. I dare you to move. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with you, but, ah, that's good. Good, okay. I hope Vicky comes soon and gives me a rest. Good boy, Tyson. He says, yeah, are you there? I got him for you, thanks. Come <laughs> move! And that's his training. That's it. He did all kinds of stuff. And now when we were at home, uh, if we were at home, he'll get to do that again this afternoon, of course. But if we were at home, I wouldn't take him again to sheep for another month. And I'd, let, I'd see what he'd do then. And after that, another month. Because their training in reality doesn't begin until they're about 10 months of age. The reason being is they have to be big enough, strong enough, and fast enough to get around the sheep. You saw what happened. He chased them. He couldn't get around them. So he held them up against the fence. Made them feel like a big man. I like that about him. He split the sheep. He went, oops. I like that about him. When a single got away, he goes, oh, oh, I'll get that one. All of that, purely instinctual, and all that says that maybe I've got something going on, and maybe uh, Merle might be a decent sire. Right, Merle? You may never have it again, though. No.